Did you know that there are different types of speed that are used in aviation? The first and most important of all is the indicated airspeed, which is directly related to the pressure exerted by the air against the aircraft during flight and is useful for establishing aerodynamic and structural limits. There is also the true airspeed, which is the indicated airspeed we have just seen, but now corrected for changes in air density. This is useful for calculating certain aspects of flight planning, since it corresponds to the actual speed of the aircraft relative to air. And finally, we have the ground speed, which is the true airspeed but now corrected for the effect of wind, and therefore will indicate the actual speed of the aircraft in relation to the surface. This is useful for calculating parameters, such as the flight time or how much fuel will be needed. Here we have omitted some other speeds, so if you want to see a more detailed explanation, you can check out the full video by clicking on the link in the first comment.